now is Luke Willett. He is in the second division of the bucket behind Dew in the Town. And Luke, this is a filly that you've had past experience with. Is it important as a driver when you're in stakes competition to have a little bit of familiarity with the horse you're up behind, or doesn't it matter? Well, uh, I don't think it, uh, it hurts uh, for you to be familiar with the horse. And on the other end, sometimes uh, a fresh horse you've never driven before sometimes picks up that way too. What are your thoughts about Dew in the Town? I know she's a filly that wears trotting hopples. Yes, well, you know, she's made quite a few mistakes, and they were pretty costly. And, um, you know, we put them on her, and she's been behaving since she's got them on. She's a very talented filly, and uh, she's very long-winded, you know. But the odd time she makes a mistake, and, uh, you know, as you know, that's not very good. No, it's not. The trotting hobbles have been a big boon for trotters in our industry, I believe, now that they're back in fashion. However, some conditioners still believe that they perhaps slow them down just a bit. What are your thoughts? Well, I believe that it might, you know, but in our case, you know, she's so talented and all she has to do is stay trotting and, you know, she can go some pretty powerful miles. So even if it slows her down a little bit, if she stays behaving, you know, it'll be in her favor. What about your approach with her here today at Delaware from Post 3? Well, you know, usually she does the driving. Uh, I'll be behind her and try to keep her trotting, but uh, it's pretty much what she wants to do because you can't hurry her when she's not ready. But she's pretty easy to drive, though, because you can be first over or, you know, you can pretty much do anything you want as long as you're not pushing her or make her in a hurry to do anything. When you're in the bike, who exactly is the boss anyway? Is it the horse that signals the driver what's best for them or is the driver dictating? Well, you know, some horses that, um, you know, like uh, some horses, like a horse like Red Bow Tie, let me tell you, I, I just I just follow him along, you know, and uh, you try you you try to work together out there, and I, I guess you'll get more out of a horse than making him do it your way, you know. All right, now that we're on to Pacers, you also have an assignment in today's Jugget, and this is Best Laid Pans from Post Two. But Luke, I was a little bit concerned this one was scratch sick and has had some time off. Well, as you can see, uh, she raced on nine nine and um, she was a bit sick that night and she could have possibly raced well last week a week later after she was sick but then again it would have been hard to come back to eat and possibly have to go to two eats you know so uh, our connection opted to uh, to save her for this race today so uh, in my opinion i think she's going to be very good and uh, you know she hasn't raced in uh, like uh, maybe 11 days so i think i think she'll be fine not giving up anything uh, not worried that she'll be short no, I don't think so. Uh, you know, she's raced, uh, as we can see on the program, she's had 20 starts this year, you know. That's plenty of racing for an athlete like her. And um, she's not the type who needs a lot of work. Back-to-back -back wins at Freehold for you, excellent on the half mile? Yes, she's excellent on any size track, but I would say that, uh, you know, she shines even more on a smaller track. All right, we're going to watch you in action here shortly, and I hope that you shine with both your performers. Good luck. Thank you so much. And let's go back over to the infield.